I will show you how to model the Doric column using FreeCAD 1.0 and how to slice it in different parts. The column is made in the part design workbench and the slices in the part workbench. I have added chapters, so you can skip the parts you want. To begin, go in the part design workbench, create a body and a sketch in the XZ plan. We will make a revolution operation, so we will trace the shape of the column. We will use a combination of the line, the arc and the spline tool. The base will have a diameter of 420 millimeters. We create a construction line of 80 millimeters and create a semicircle. Use the line tool and create a line of 10 millimeters. I use the V key to make it vertical. Now, make a line of 2710 millimeters, it will be the height of the column. Use the line to make a top radius of 215 millimeters. Use the line tool to make a line of 10 millimeters. We will use the spline tool to make a curve. We constrain it with some dimensions to obtain the desired shape. Next, trace a line in a semicircle. Use the V key to make the semicircle vertical. Give a radius of 10 millimeters. Put a dimension of 60 millimeters from the top. Now select the arc tool and draw a semicircle. Make it vertical with a radius of 10 millimeters and put a dimension of 170 millimeters. Back to the bottom, give a dimension of 200 millimeters. With the line tool join the bottom and the top. Be sure the points are coincident. Now close the sketch and select the revolution tool. Select base Z as axis for the revolve and click OK. Now we will model the top rectangular part. Select the top face and create a sketch. Use the centered rectangle and give it a 430 millimeters, make the edges equal to obtain a square. We use the E key for making them equal. Close the sketch and choose the pad operation of 15 millimeters. Select the top face and create a new sketch. Again choose the centered rectangular and make a square of 450 millimeters side. Close the sketch and make a pad operation of 40 millimeters. Now select the bottom face and create a sketch. Make a square of 500 millimeters. Close the sketch and make a pad operation of 110 millimeters. Now we will make the side debossing. Go in the part design workbench. First we will convert the body as a solid. Next create a cylinder with a radius of 40 millimeters and a height of 2350 millimeters. With the transform tool adjust the position and the rotation of the cylinder. Be sure to set the rotation increment of 0.55 degrees which correspond of the slope of the column.
Now select the top and bottom edge and make a fillet of 40 millimeters. Next select the cylinder and go in the draft workbench and select Polar Array. Make 13 occurrences. Now go back in the part design. Select first the body and next the Polar Array and make a Boolean cut operation. Now the column is finished. We will create an array of planes to slice the column. Click on the icon Create Primitives and make a plane of 800mm by 800mm. If two planes object are created delete one. With the Transform tool you can adjust the position of the plane in order to cut the column. Select the plane and go in the draft workbench and choose an array operation. Select 6 elements for the Z-axis with an interval of 400 mm. Now go back to the part design and select first the column and next the array and click on the sliced icon. Now the column is sliced. With the transform tool, you can adjust the position of each part. I hope the video has helped you. Thanks for your attention.